After over a decade of failed projects, half measures, and, well, waiting, Halo has finally made the jump to full-fledged, long-form live action. But was the wait worth it? How did the first episode of the Halo TV show turn out? We'll be talking about all of that and more with full spoilers in today's video. All right, so let's get right into things. You guys know that I was fairly skeptical about the Halo TV show from the first couple of trailers. And I gotta say, the first five or so minutes of this had me completely turn the other way. I was ready to make a video about how this show was much better than I was expecting. Unfortunately, episode one of the Halo TV show, titled Contact, ended up being both better at times, but also significantly worse than what I was expecting. I wanna start with the positives, because I do think that this show has potential and that it could perhaps be good if reconfigured or even in future seasons. One thing I really like, which I think bodes well for the potential of a good future show, is the casting and the acting. I liked pretty much most of the main characters. Quan Ha for me was a real standout. I thought the character was an interesting addition to the Halo universe and I thought the actress did a really great job. But I also thought that the new look of some of the existing Halo characters was pretty great as well. Halsey was a bit young for her role, but was pretty much exactly as I imagined her in the pre-Halo Reach days when I would read the books. Perrin Gosky is almost a perfect casting, and I also really liked Captain Keys, and to a lesser degree Miranda, I think she's a bit too young for her role, though I don't like Captain Keys' expanded role in the story, and I don't like the change of Miranda Keys to a scientist. As I mentioned, I thought the opening of the show was very strong as well. The visceral first attack by the Covenant was great. The effects on Madrigal, the first settlement you see, were also pretty well done, and the action in the opening before the Spartans showed up was also better choreographed and better set up than I expected. The Covenant were terrifying. I didn't like the fact that it was only elites. I think that made it kind of boring, but overall, the opening was a very strong start to the episode, at least compared with what came afterwards. I thought a lot of the Spartan armor was great. I thought the intro was great, with a caveat that I'll discuss later, and those are kind of my general thoughts on the things that really stick out as being positive to me. I want to talk about negatives, though. And I'm going to try to be constructive rather than overly critical in this conversation. And I'm also going to start with the smallest points, the ones that seem less tied to the format and structure of the show itself, then move towards the bigger issues. For example, one of the show's weaker aspects is easily its soundtrack, which should not be the case whatsoever, considering we're talking about a video game series translated to TV, which has one of the most famous soundtracks of all time. I guarantee that by this time next week, there's going to be a ton of videos on YouTube taking scenes from the Halo TV show and adding the Halo soundtrack, one of a thousand songs that would have fit properly, and the whole thing is going to be cooler, and it's going to feel more like Halo. The intro especially is awesome, but it's missing the extra little oomph that Halo music would give it. Now, I'm not being too critical here, because to my understanding, there's some issue related to royalties paid to Mike Salvatore and Marty O'Donnell, which is somehow affecting the rights of Halo music. Hopefully that can be settled at some point, so the music can make its way into the show. Continuing though, the action and CG also, I think, let the show down. Now, this wasn't to the point where I didn't enjoy the show, at least the action sequences. They were fine, but they were pretty sloppy. They were boring, which is, I think, the worst sin you can give to an action sequence. And quite frequently, they were let down by CGI. There's a few scenes which just really do not look good, especially when comparing it to the other sort of hyper expensive sci-fi we're getting right now with shows like The Mandalorian. I also think, too, that the first person sequences just didn't really work very well, but I'm going to say something a little bit controversial maybe even though they didn't work i'm glad they're trying to make them work because if they can perfect the art of moving things to first person without it feeling kind of cheap and kind of corny and just totally computer generated that could end up being very cool and that's something that could eventually add a lot to the show. Not all the CGI was bad though. Some of it was pretty good. I talked how I thought Madrigal looked good. Just generally the macro things, whether it was high charity or whatever else, I thought were well done, but the small details, whether it's the weapon firing, for example, it just didn't always work. And there was the fact that the action got lazy, as I mentioned. Chief was the only one who could damage the elites, despite the fact that everyone's firing bullets. There was a lot of just running out in the open, engaging aliens one-on-one. -on -one. 
sorry, my daughter is getting really crazy right now. But again, all of that's relatively minor and something that I'd be willing to overlook if the show overall was going in a direction that I was happy with, which is definitely my biggest issue here. Let's get the obvious out of the way. This isn't the Halo universe that we've known and loved for 20 years or for at least parts of 20 years. This is a new sort of alternate universe specifically that they've called the Silver Timeline. Some of you might be surprised to hear this because of my job, but I'm not actually one who's huge on continuity and I definitely think that telling a good and interesting story in a specific universe should be what takes ultimate precedence. So I was completely fine with them moving to the Silver Timeline. What I really wanted was a show that feels rooted in the Halo universe and the specific details of when the Spartan program was introduced, how the Covenant invaded, how specific battles played out. That's not important to me. My issue is that this show doesn't feel like it's in the spirit of Halo. With some exceptions, when I'm making an adaptation, although I don't need the plot to be the exact same, I do want it to at least have similar themes as the source material to feel like the source material. Otherwise, you're essentially just importing toys like Master Chief or like the MA5B into a new universe. This story not only doesn't feel connected to past Halo stories, but it doesn't feel like it's really doing anything interesting. When I think of Halo, I think of a few core concepts. A fight against extinction, a battle against overwhelming odds, a sense of wonder and history, legends of various types all within this, at times, pulpy military sci-fi setting. I feel none of that, no sense of awe, no sense of military science fiction, no sense of wonder, no sense of a desperate struggle for survival in this TV show. Instead, it seems like they've tried to speed run certain aspects of Halo thematically, which have appeared in recent years, but have done so in a way that feels extremely sloppy and very, very lazy. The idea of Spartan morality and the morality of the UNSC generally is an interesting idea that should be discussed within universe. My problem is, as I put it, it feels like this show is trying to speed run all of these discussions. They haven't as much established humanity's desperate struggle, which should be the main point of the Halo series, and instead are jumping into a really messy Master Chief story about him being brain wiped and now having the Forerunner artifact retrieve his memories. This is something that, in my opinion, only really works when Master Chief has been established as a character and the central setting has also been established. As it stands right now, there are aspects of it that are compelling. Master Chief protecting the insurrectionist, that's a kind of cool little storyline, but it seems like that's going to dominate a lot of the narrative. And it's again, coming before the really important stuff and the more interesting stuff has been established. They're essentially turning Halo from a military sci-fi to almost space opera experience into an interpersonal drama. I think that's also represented by the, and I'm gonna use some crude language here, the fact that they blew their load with Master Chief taking his helmet off in the first episode. I understand wanting to make Master Chief more of a character that the audience can connect with, but it's just such a cheap way, it feels, to gain some conversation on the internet while immediately losing some of the allure of the character. I think the Mandalorian did it right. And if one of the plot lines is going to be the fact that Master Chief is competing against his military programming, then taking the helmet off should be a payoff that happens at some point. I'm having a little bit of trouble expressing how I feel here, but I hope my sentiments are coming through at least in some respect. I also want to say as well, I don't think there's a general rule that an adaptation should never move away from the tones or themes of the source material that it's drawing from. However, I think that movement has to be very, very justified within an interesting and compelling story where those sacrifices are needed to meet the director or the writer's vision, and I just don't see the Halo show offering anything close to that. That's my unfortunate opinion, and I'm going to leave it at that. Again, the show was at times much better than I expected, at times worse. I'm going to watch every episode. If you guys are interested in weekly breakdowns, I'd be happy to give them. I'm not writing the show off completely or anything like that. I'm curious to see where it heads in the future. But guys, I'm going to leave this video at that. Until next time, be safe, have a good one, and may the Force be with you.